Hey saints, I pray that you're doing well. I pray as blessing and covering over you and your beautiful loved ones and you're going out and you're coming in. So I wanted to do this video to let you know that you need to prepare. If you have not started preparing, you need to prepare. Before they catch you off guard, you need to prepare. They are stopping food trucks are stopping the truckers that basically are carrying the industry most industries right now with in terms of food in terms of all the necessities that we need to survive right they are stopping food from reaching to the supermarket to the markets we need to be 10 steps ahead of them in my spirit, this is what the Holy Spirit told me, that saints, we need to be a wise virgin. And that oil doesn't only mean spiritual preparedness, but physical preparedness. Amen? Be mentally prepared as well to walk away from everything carnal. Before you fall, before you bend, walk away. The Bible, it tells stories, but every story has, has so many different meanings in our lives today and can be used for so many other situations. Like Lot and his wife and how his wife turned and turned into a pillar of salt. You do not want to turn into a pillar of salt because you can't leave that house. You can't leave those amenities. You can't go in the hills. You, you, you. And you know, people still don't understand why when the, pan, uh, when the panorama just started, why the first thing people go went for, sorry, was toilet paper. This is why toilet paper was the, one of the main things that people stocked up on. Because subconsciously, we feel like if it comes to the point where we don't have anything to wipe her back there, we are just barbarians. That is the last straw. That is the final stroke to barbarianism. To what did I even work so hard for? It has come down to this. So that is the number one fear of people. To have to resort to non-conventional things like leaves or newspaper or whatever the situation is. But when it comes to that, not having something to wipe, they see that as the lowest of low of low. That's their major fear. Not food to eat, you know. Right? To keep their bodies healthy and alive. To even be able to wipe anywhere. But I just wanted to show you that. But saints, I am putting this out there. And also, they will, when they announce what they're announcing and their lockdowns, because even in Jamaica, the, the Prime Minister announced the lockdown like Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday, I need to, I will um, confirm. And... I think it was Thursday and the three-day lockdown would start the Sunday Sunday Monday Tuesday so you know Friday people would still have to work most people still have to work so it would be Saturday really where people can kind of get a chance to shop to be locked in their house for three whole days can't go outside the corner shops are closed we, we, we don't even want to discuss that not everybody can afford to have or buy food for three days to stock up on so they find it funny by putting in our faces what they're going to do and people just take it as nothing and just laugh it off. Oh, the government, oh, they're so funny. They're so evil. But anyways, I still love them. Start stocking up on food, supplies. Figure out your purpose in this end times. And if it is that you are in the medical field and you know that you'll be helping people 
have those medical supplies have your gauzes have your antiseptics have everything that you need not only for yourself and your family but you'll be helping others because others will find you that's the lord that's the the, the heavenly father the most high that we serve he will send his children to you for help so you cannot be selfish have more than enough have more than enough right have your solar radios whatever you need start preparing follow those um preparation channels right and start preparing don't say i never told you i'm doing my part and telling you to start preparing have your food your water your life straws right everything that you need buy your tents because you don't know when you have to hit the hills at least you have a tent just start pray about it Pray about everything that I say. Pray about it. And let the Holy Spirit lead you into the way which you should go. Amen? Amen. Alright. So, know that I love you all. The Lord loves you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.